Hey guys, welcome back to Social Nerd. In today's video, I'll show you how you can register a foreign banking account on Australia and New Zealand Banking Group. If you want to access your financial transactions and account histories from anywhere and anytime online, then registering for your online banking account could be the best decision. The process to register for your online banking account is pretty simple, secure, and straightforward. In order to get started, all you have to do is watch this video very carefully and follow the simple steps. First, go to any browser on your desktop. Then on the search bar, search for ang.com.au. And once you land on an interface like this, go to the register option here and tap on it to open. Then it directs you to the register page for ANG Internet Banking. So before you start your registration process, there are a few things that you need to keep in your mind. Check that you have eligible account for online banking. Have your customer registration number and telecode ready. For the internet banking registrations, ensure your computer has the recommended software and settings. And for those who are registering from the ANG app, please download the app on your mobile device. And here all you have to do is go to your customer registration number box and type in your customer registration number that you have been provided. Then go and enter the telecode in the telecode text field. Once done, go and tap on next. Now you'll be directed to another page where you have to enter a valid email address and set your password and challenge questions. So enter your email address, then set a strong password for your account and choose a security question for security purpose. Once done, tap on next to continue. Now by tapping on it, you'll land onto another page where you have to follow the prompts and complete your registration. Once you do that, you'll have successfully registered for ANG Internet Banking. So the next time you want to log into your ANG Internet Banking account, you'll have to have a customer registration number and a set of password that you have created while registering for your account. So this will be it for today guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button if the video was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and stay updated for more videos like this. Bye bye.